everyone, Tim Schofield here, and Xiaomi just sent over their new 13T Pro, which looks really promising. It has MediaTek's Dimensity 9200 Plus chipset. It has a 120 watt hypercharge brick, which will charge your phone from zero to 100% in 19 minutes, kind of crazy. It also has a 144 hertz AMOLED display, a Leica camera system, and more. So we are gonna take a quick look what comes in the box of the 13T Pro, and then of course, get some hands-on with this new phone from Xiaomi. Let's get started. Here is the 13T Pro, co-engineered with Leica from Xiaomi. This is the Alpine blue color. Let's take a look what comes inside. First things first, a SIM ejection tool, the quick start guide warranty information, safety information, and a clear case, which is nice to have extras included. Next up, we have our 13T Pro with some information about the phone. We're gonna set it to the side for now, continue through. And finally in the box, we have a USB type A to USB type C cable for charging and our 120 watt charging brick, which again is going to charge our phone crazy fast using USB type A. There's some information about the brick. And on to what you came to see, the 13T Pro from Xiaomi. Let's take this back sticker off very quickly. This was actually a lighter blue than I was expecting. Uh, it looks really good, it's very unique. It does have vegan leather on the back, so a decent amount of grip to it. Also the sides, uh, since the front screen isn't curved, it's flat, uh, sides have a decent amount of real estate to hold onto, which is kind of nice. Anyways, I'm gonna press and hold the power button while it boots up. Let's take a closer look at the hardware. Down at the bottom, SIM card slot microphone, USB Type-C port one of our speakers moving along on the right side where that power button is. Two volume rockers, fairly minimal camera bump overall. Up towards the top here, we do have another microphone, an IR blaster, which is always nice to see. And finally, along the left side, absolutely nothing. Flipping it over on the back, it does have some Xiaomi branding, and there is our camera system. Co-engineered with Leica, this is a 50 megapixel wide angle lens with optical image stabilization, a 50 megapixel telephoto lens, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle lens. Anyways, I'm going to run through the startup process, talk about anything that's noteworthy. I did just connect to Wi-Fi. I'd like to point out this does have Wi-Fi 7 capabilities. You do have an in-display fingerprint scanner plus a pre-installed screen protector that's already on there. Let's go ahead and just set our thumb down and set this up. You do also have an option for face unlock if you'd like to use that as well just continuing through i will say i do like the vibration motor uh very solid feedback i've been impressed with typing and just the feedback that i got right there all right setup complete you're ready to rock here it is we are now on the home screen of the xiaomi 13t pro here's a close look at the 6.67 inch crystal res amoled display at 2712 by 1220 resolution so not quite that 2k resolution but more than 1080p at a 20 to 9 aspect ratio. This display also goes all the way up to 144 hertz refresh rate, which seems like it's enabled right out of the box. It looks really smooth, but let's double check going into display settings. I don't, there it is. Refresh rate set to default, so it will automatically dynamically change depending on what's shown on the screen, or you can hit custom and actually force it up to 144 hertz uh, and then say apps that use it. So you can actually per app basis change what is using 144 hertz. I really do like that. Uh, so if you want YouTube, Netflix, maps, I just enabled those to use and take advantage of 144 hertz. Going into the camera app, you do have an option between different styles, fresh and vibrant or more natural and realistic. So it's up to you what style you can obviously switch a little bit later on. I'm gonna choose Leica Vibrant for now. Swipe down to open the menu for different options, turning on your grid lines, HDR, aspect ratio, all that good stuff. Obviously you can switch over to the ultra wide angle lens, snap a quick picture. Let's go to the one X and then maybe zoom in a little bit and take a two X telephoto shot. So there we go. Uh, so very, very quick in terms of shutter speed, in terms of modes, you can scan documents, a pro mode, 
Always a welcome addition. Video, which can shoot all the way up to 8K, 24 frames per second. Portrait mode here, if you click this, you can have different options, such as 35 millimeter documentary, all the way up to 90 millimeters for soft focus, so some different presets. Also, you can change your f-stop, so different blur levels, all the way down to f1. You've got your night mode for the lower light shots, and going into more, 50 megapixels all the way up and a few more modes. By the way, this does have IP68 rating for dust and water resistance, love to have that. And let's go ahead and test our fingerprint scanner. So setting our thumb on down very quickly from the lock screen seems to be uh, very quick, snappy, seems to work how it should. You're just gonna need to get used to that specific spot. It's a little bit lower than I'm used to, but still seems to work very well. Anyways, overall, I'm really impressed. This is a very premium looking and feeling device. I do love this color. I love the grippy vegan leather on the back. Overall, well done, Xiaomi. It looks really good. I'm excited to snap some more pictures with it and really get that Leica style photo uh, and really test it out. So be sure to click that subscribe button so you're notified of more content coming soon. Again, nice to have the MediaTek Dimensity 9200 Plus chipset as well. I do expect uh, performance to be very, very good and also battery life. And hey, 5,000 milliamp hour battery plus that 120 watts of charging is pretty crazy. So anyway, that's about it for me on the Xiaomi 13T Pro. Drop a comment, let me know what you think. Be sure to click that subscribe button. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. As always, thanks for watching.